Hello and welcome to another video about Cubase and this time we're going to look at adding colour to your tracks. Now why would you want to add colour to your tracks and your events within the track? Well it's quite simply to identify what you're actually working on quickly and easily when you're mixing. So if I had all my, if I tried to mix this it wouldn't be too bad because I've got only 16 tracks. But if I was working on a massive project of say 64 tracks and I wanted to find my kick drum in all those 64 tracks, it could take a long time. Whereas if I had a, it as a single colour, all my drum tracks a single colour, it would narrow it down immensely and help me to speed up through the uh, mixing process. So today I'm just going to show you how to add a bit of colour to each track element. This is a project I've been working on, it's only 16 tracks, um, but even then adding a bit of colour does help. And the quick and easy way of doing it in Cubase is holding shift, select your track first of all, hold shift, click between the little audio symbol and the track number you're working on, and select your colour. Another way is by going up to the palette and select a colour. If you're not quite sure which one it is, if you let your tooltip uh, come up, it says select colour for selected tracks or events. Another way of doing it is by your mix console and the little arrow next to the mix console. And that adds a colour. Now if you want to do multiple tracks once, because let's face it, if you've got 64 tracks, you don't want to be doing each one individually. You'll be here till kingdom come and you lost all will to live to be able to do your mix. So if you click your first track, hold shift on your keyboard, click your second track, then hold alt key and shift i think it's option and shift on the mac and select your palette on here and it changes all the colors that's the only way you can actually change multiple tracks at once in cubase because if you try and do it i'll just show you here if you try and do it on uh, the other two methods if you think about it, it's not going to work because i'm selecting a single track i'm not and changing that colour. So that's the way Cubase works unfortunately. So you have to select the first one, hold shift down, uh, select the next one you want, hold alt and shift or option and shift on the Mac, select your colour and there we go, we've got your colour. And they're actually ref um, reflected in the mix console as well. Handily on the mix console, it changes colour to default colour when you're actually on the select of the track you're actually working on. So it's very easy to see which one you actually work track you're working on because otherwise, if if you were, they were all hang on, let's just click on here, if they were all red, you'd be thinking hang on which track I'm actually working on. So that's quite a handy feature. So that's all we have today. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, ding the bell in the top corner there and you'll know when the next video is going to be uh, released. And uh, if you've got any other hints and tips about colouring tracks to be helping the mix process, then leave a comment below. Until next time, see you then. That's better.